All right, everyone, don't be taken in by the false optimistic news that you're hearing from certain groups about, oh, South Africa's backing off land expropriation. We've won. And, and they're, they're ascribing it to Trump and saying, well, you know, Trump said that he was looking into this, monitoring the situation with farm murders and stuff. Uh, and so now South Africa is backing off. That's not actually what's happening, sadly. Uh, what's actually happening is because of scrutiny, they're going back reconsidering a few procedural steps to make sure that they've actually legalized it when they do go and expropriate. And this ties into something I haven't seen corroborated yet by any group that's not like gung-ho for guns style reporting. Like, yeah, guns.com says, and it's like I'd like some corroboration from maybe a more general news site. Not as a, not the lamestream media, but just a more general news site. Something other than The Wire or <laughs> Daily Mail or something. Um, no. And it looks like what they did. This is what uh, the gist of it as far as I can tell. It looks like they had a constitutional decision some time ago that some of their gun registry laws were unconstitutional, so people weren't registering. Now they've decided to reverse that decision, meaning unfortunately for most gun owners in South Africa, they, correct me if I'm wrong, South Africans, if I understand this correctly, because of the government being fucking dumb and reversing their own decision, most gun owners there have lapsed and technically their guns are illegal and they have to turn them in for confiscation and destruction because they become illegal firearms. At least that's what it appears to be. Now, uh, obviously, if I was a South African farmer, would I turn it in or would I bur bury it in the furrows of my field like I, uh, people did during the Revolutionary War? Probably the latter. Just saying, I'm not encouraging anything here, but I'm, I'm pretty sure when a government decides to disarm hundreds of thousands of people as a prelude to stealing their land and gets congratulated, by the way, by the draconian dystopian bullshitters that run the UK uh, in the process... And it's pretty much an illegitimate government at that point. It's not representing the best interests of any South African to fuck over its own farming sector. So I don't know. But no, this is not optimistic. This is actually a malevolent story. This is, uh, this is sinister material. It's sinister because it appears that the government there's like, okay, well, you know, it'll only take a few extra weeks. We've got to make sure everything's above board constitutionally. Otherwise, Trump will be breathing down our neck. Let's make sure that it is absolutely procedurally perfect and as uh, unanimous as possible before we start taking people's fallow plots of land. You know, the ones that are fallow because they're fucking played out. Obviously, the ANC's government knows little to nothing about farming. What's going to end up happening is these fields will be subdivided and parts of them will have to be fallow anyway. You'll depress your production value within the agricultural sector. You'd be better off investing in some uh, desalination projects over on the arid side of South Africa and making little irrigated farm plots or something. You'd be better off building a solar field. You'd be better, be better off doing anything. Which is exactly why they won't do it, because the government of South Africa is fucking stupid. It's run by morons. Ramposa, or whatever the fuck his name is, he's a moron, and he's marginally more intelligent than the alternative, which is Julius Malema, who literally wanders around in his shitty uh, uh, Amazon-derived fucking $50 fake communist suit they got from, from some, some fucking surplus site on Amazon, probably. That's Julius Malema. He's even worse. He's like, no, these goofballs over there, they wear suits like the bourgeois capitalists. I wear this, you know, basically red smock with the hammer and sickle on, and I'm such a great guy. He sits there in front of the fucking commie fuck. Yes, Snope should listen to Julius Malema, of all people, when he says, ah, Trump is totally wrong. There's no problem with farm murders here. You know, I'm, I'm going to straw man you as though you're talking about genocide and not just talking about our sky-high fucking violent crime rate that is largely racially prefaced. I'm going to straw man you and, and say that you're indicating we're trying to steal every white person's land out of sheer racism, when in reality, they're just stealing a little bit of it. And they're making it legal first, so it's okay. Theresa May thinks it's a wonderful idea. So no, they haven't actually stopped anything. This is a temporary halt on procedural grounds. It looks like they're also stalling in hopes that people turn in their guns. Now, again, Let's say I'm a farmer in South Africa. I know, well, the government might just take a giant chunk of my land, not give me anything for it. Why on earth would they want my gun? I, I can't possibly imagine why. I can't envision why they would want me to turn in my firearms before stealing my land that I've been sitting on for a hundred years. Nope, I can't think of a reason. 
I mean, come on. How much more fucking obvious can it be? How much more transparent can the corruption there be? And this is to Theresa May's idea of a functional, stable, wonderful government. Thank goodness we have Donald Trump in power, willing to call them out for their bullshit where he sees it, because it is bullshit. Can you imagine what would happen if in the United States, if Trump came out tomorrow and said, well, you know how I said I love eminent domain? I love it so much, I want to change the U.S. Constitution to allow the federal government to take land from people if it has a compelling reason and not even fucking pay them any money. I think it would be a wonderful thing. We're going to take land from all these these big factory farms and, and give it to, like, I don't know, Native Americans or as reparations or something. Can you imagine how quickly they would move to impeach him? Oh my God, It's he's a bigot, he's an authoritarian, fucking jackboot Donald Trump wants to steal our land. He's a horrible person, worst president ever, fucking tired, probably the Antichrist, literally Hitler. They would rant and rave to no end. But because the government of South Africa is run by socialists, no problem. Hey, they're just taking it from those white people who, after all, you know, racism is power and privilege, you know, the government of South Africa being like 99% non-white people, uh, but somehow these these few hundred thousand farmers sitting out there in the hinterlands that get shot every other day, uh, you know, they still got systemic power because they've got a lot of land. Well, you know, if they have so much power, then why is it that the government of South Africa is willing to disarm and then abuse them and steal vast tracts of land from them in the vain hopes that it'll start a farming boom by giving it to ANC loyalists? That is the mark of a dysfunctional, inept, and in fact, illegitimate government. There's no other way to put it for anyone in the world to celebrate what's going on down there, which will inevitably lead to problems. A lot of those farmers, they're probably not going to give up their weapons. It will lead to at least some degree of violence, could lead to a civil war. It will certainly decimate their farming sector. It will cause massive problems in South Africa. If I were invested in South Africa, I would have already withdrawn my investment because I would have no guarantee that it'll still be there. Well, if the government's taking land from its own people, why can't it just nationalize my factory and fucking, I, oh, I built this road, so, you know, what are you doing? Oh, well, it's our road now. Fuck you. Go back to the United States. They've done this before in other dysfunctional countries where they're ex exhibiting uh, social stress, an entrenched, violent group. Uh, feels threatened from an outside force. Sometimes it tries to play up to the population by targeting some foreign element, nationalizing industries or something. Maduro's done this in Venezuela. The Chinese government has done this at times. Uh, Cuba did this when they had their so-called revolution, which is really the overthrow of sanity. Uh, what was one of the things Fidel did? Oh, all these businesses are ours now. Aha, look at all this wonderful property. Now it belongs to the Cuban people. Honestly, an element of nationalism within the framework of communism, which is quite common. It's very funny. So, yeah. South Africa is still planning to steal your land, uh, farmers. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there are ways, you know. Sometimes people just tragically lose their firearms in a boating accident. Of course, in South Africa, you know, you've got an arid climate. Maybe in a, a dune sailing accident or something. Oh, I lost it in this sand dune. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not going to be able to find it. I don't even know exactly where it was. The sand keeps shifting. You know how sand is. It's a big problem. Uh, you know, we need sand control. Common sense sand control comes to South Africa. People, uh, people cheer for Julius Malema's sane proposal. That's about all. Peace out.